So I know you clicked on the video because of the title. This is an unboxing video for the Barrett Rec 10. I'm about to get to that. But also, I'm going to be making a video where I talk about my Barrett Fieldcraft. This is a Barrett Fieldcraft rifle. You may be familiar with it, maybe not. This probably does not look like any Barrett Fieldcraft you've seen. I've done a lot of modifications to this, and I've gotten a lot of questions about why I did certain modifications, how I did it, and just in general, what I'm using to fill my videos. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Go check out some of the other videos. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll see the new videos whenever I post them. Um, and if this is something you'd be interested in, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check out this video also. Uh, a lot of interesting modifications done to this Barrett rifle. Still super light, super deadly, and accurate. What is up everyone? This is the much awaited unboxing of the Barrett Rec 10. So initially I was hoping to get in 6.5 Creedmoor. I think there was a lot of buzz in the community. A lot of people were super excited about that coming out in an AR style semi-automatic platform. Um, from what I understand, those uh, received some military contracts but did not go to the civilian market. I believe they're still planning to bring those to the market uh, and I hope that they do. So. This is the Barrett Rec 10, chambered in 308. It is flat dark earth, and it has the 16 inch barrel. So this is how I received the box from Barrett. Um, pretty cool, they've really upped their game lately just with a couple of custom things. Typically their rifles are no longer just coming in boxes. Um, they've been pretty good about that for most of their rifles, like the M82A1, the M107A1, um, and a couple others. Um, by that I mean sending those in an actual Pelican case. The MRAD 2 with the custom cutouts, really cool. Um, it always amazes me when some of these high-end manufacturers just send the rifle in a box. Uh, won't name who they are, you probably know who they are. So anyways, um, received it like this. It's got the Barrett custom tape on it. Um, eh, not that it matters, but relatively light box. So also here, uh, you may not be able to see this in the video but it does have the description. So here are the Rec 10 rifle system, 308, 16 inch barrel, flat darker. So let's go ahead and open it up here, take a look. Alright, cool. So what I notice is uh, it comes in a custom case, which is pretty cool. Not a Pelican case. Could probably guess that by the cardboard box it comes in. So let's take a look. Yep, did that upside down. There we go. Throw that out of the way. So these are really cool. Um, I have acquired a couple of Barrett rifles recently. This is the first one that I've received in this custom soft case. Definitely nice uh, just to throw it in the back of the truck or take it to the range or whatever. Um, obviously not ideal for airline travel. They want the hard case, lockable, but this is a huge step up. Really like seeing this from Barrett. Um, the custom case, pretty cool. All right, so let's open it up. Get to the good stuff. <clears throat> All right, so rifle here. Uh, this is the same like the last one that I received in this blue plastic with the brand on it was the Fieldcraft. Uh, pretty cool, first time I've seen it. They're probably doing it for all of their rifles now across the board. So it comes also with this pouch. Quickly go through here and see what all we have. The Rec 10 operator manual. So it comes with the uh, Magpul backup sights, and I guess here just a little information on how to set those, how to set them up, how to use them. Ah, <laughs> so this will not apply to most of the viewers. The viewers that this will apply to are the ones in California. I'm not really sure about New York and some of the other states, but California specifically. I cannot receive this rifle 
in the configuration that Barrett intended it to be in. So what I mean by that is, and it's impossible for law-abiding gun owners in California, emphasis on law-abiding, to keep up with all the laws. They're always changing. They're, there's a new law, there's a loophole, there's an exception, a new law comes in place. So what this is, is this is called the Cali Key, and it basically turns a semi-automatic rifle into a single shot. So unfortunately, to send this to me in California, they did have to install it. I will be doing a separate video where I talk more about this and uh, what to do if you're traveling outside of California. Just my recommendation on changing some things out whenever you leave the state. So uh, this is drop-in compliance and long-range precision. So that's that. Not too much more time will be spent on this because for most of you this will not apply and you will not receive your rifle in this configuration. If you think it's ridiculous, drop a comment below, thumbs up. Would love to hear what you guys think about California gun laws. Um, so this is something that Barrett's been doing for a while. They drop in here, they join the fight, join the NRA, great cause. Good that they drop this in, get the word out to more people. Um, this is regarding, regarding the warranty. Oh, that's pretty cool. They even throw in a sling. Not something I'm seeing from a lot of other rifle manufacturers, so pretty cool. Uh, it's got a nice pad on it. So anyways, sling here. Uh, this is obviously the adapters to put the sling on. And looks like a couple of other small things. Oh, that's cool. To adjust uh, the Magpul backup sights. And then they even put a mag in here. So I'm guessing uh, with California, again, the laws changed. We were able to have standard capacity, meaning, um, well, over 10. And recently they changed back in California. So I'm filming this uh, last day of 2019. But as of right now, they changed back, restricting our capacity count to 10. So I'm pretty sure, yep, 10 round mag. So 10 round mag here. Um, anyways, that's all of that. Now let's get to the rifle. Let's get to the good part. Strapped in. Very nice. Ditch that case. Okay. So, here we go. There it is. Barrett Rec 10 308 16 inch barrel. Pretty cool, pretty basic. Magpul stock here, adjustable, super tight. Obviously, it's brand new. Um, yeah, I mean, it's decent. It's everything you need, right? Everything you need, nothing you don't. They, uh, right here is the adapter for the sling. Okay, cool. So, Immediately upon setting eyes on it, what I'm just looking at right here, what I see first is it has a ambidextrous uh, safety switch here. Pretty cool. And that looks like a proprietary part too. That doesn't look like the standard one I'm used to seeing. Uh, pretty cool. Looks like it's low profile. Looks like it's good uh, grip, I guess is what I'm looking for. Looks like I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go over that easily. Looks like if I need to get to it, I know exactly where it is. Uh, Magpul grip. Looks like stock trigger. Um, so also all the controls are ambidextrous. So here's a mag release, mag release here on this side. Also on this side, that's ambidextrous. Now, uh, I don't want to spend too much time with the California stuff, but there is a standard mag release. That is because of the California key. So this really, really large charging handle, this is essentially a single shot weapon. And because it's a single shot, uh, I'm allowed to have a standard mag release versus the other ones that we had before. Anyways, don't want to spend too much time since this probably doesn't apply to most of the viewers. Um, so it's pretty nice. Looks like laser engraved Barrett logo here, which is pretty cool on the handrail. Um, obviously great quality of the Cerakote. Looks fantastic. Um, what else am I seeing? Uh, this is new. So... 
So right here, this uh, is made by, it's got the Barrett logo on it. It looks like it's a polymer or a plastic versus metal, like we're used to seeing. Um, it has a Barrett logo here, and then it has a small SI. You're probably not gonna be able to see it in this video, but that is Stryker Industries. I don't know all of the specifics uh, regarding the contract or, or what exactly happened, but I believe there's an agreement with Stryker Industries to source these parts for Barrett. And um, I think there might be something else on here that's also Stryker Industries. Um, I'm not seeing it right now, but anyway, so this is a polymer plastic, not a hundred percent sure, um, why the change from the metal, I'm sure some, somebody watching this might know, feel free to drop a comment below, educate me. Um, this is, I guess just from, from the shipping here, this is common for the, uh, for rifles, Barrett specifically. They're going to put a little tag on here and it's going to say the model. So that's the Rec 10 308 serial number, um, final assembly inspected by. So all of these are inspected. These are um, test fired and they are proven to be uh, to meet the accuracy rating that Barrett is proud to put their name on. And so here it's uh, quality assurance function fire that's initialed and then quality assurance accuracy. And then that's also initialed. So all of these are test fired. From Barrett, you know you're gonna get a really good rifle, obviously. Um, and yeah, let's see what else can we look at here. So this is uh, the Barrett Brake. It's got the Barrett logo on it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I would open it up, show you the bolt carrier, show you those things, but uh, it looks like actually the bolt carrier group, so that is proprietary, that is Barrett. I'm not sure if it's nickel boron coated it doesn't appear to be that's not really a big deal for me but it's got the b barrett logo here um this is it's the cali key so i can't really talk much about the charging handle or anything like that um what i can do is show you how it works essentially so again i know this just came out of the box this has never been fired besides the quality assurance i just mentioned but you're going to check chamber there's nothing there's not a mag in can't pick up around let the bolt go forward. So safety on, safety off. So essentially what the California key or the Cali key does is not that, I guess as I'm demonstrating this, not that it would cycle anyways to show. You may have to do a range day and, and show you what it's all about. Uh, probably do that in the video, so be sure you subscribe. The next video will show what the Cali key does. It will show the conversion if I'm able to go film that somewhere where it's legal. Um, so. Here, Cali key, so single shot, essentially what it's gonna do on the range is you're gonna press that trigger. And what you're gonna to have to do for every single follow-up shot is you have to rack it. Single shot. Essentially, I believe this was drossed as a bolt action. So again, press that. Feels like if I had to guess, I don't have the specs in front of me. Trigger pull, uh, it, it is crisp, which is great, but it's a little bit heavier than what I like. Feels like probably five and a half pounds plus. Um, one of my recommendations is the AR Gold trigger. Um, really depends on what I'm gonna do with the rifle though, um, depending on if I'm gonna do an AR Gold or not. So uh, probably the only thing I would change on this, and this is right out of the box, the only thing I would change would be the trigger. Um, and that's typically something I do on most firearms, whether it be handguns or rifle. Well, not all rifles, depends. I guess gas guns, I'm, I'm changing out the triggers and for handguns, I'm changing out triggers. Almost always, very, very few exceptions on that for handguns. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything here. If you have any questions, if there's anything about this rifle, uh, you've never seen one and you have a question or maybe you have one and you have a question about it Just drop a comment below definitely want to be a resource for you guys be as useful as possible This is just the unboxing uh, I'll be looking at a couple different optic options and then I will be running some different ammunition through this Because it looks cool. It's Barrett. So I know it's reliable But at the end of the day, it's about accuracy. It's about precision um, I also just acquired a bunch of 308 ammo from a retired Navy SEAL. He was a captain in the SEAL teams. Uh, prior to being a captain, he was a sniper in Vietnam. 
and they were shooting 308 at that time. He gave me literally hundreds of rounds of what was considered match 308 back then uh, that he had with him as a Navy SEAL sniper in Vietnam. So uh, we'll be doing a video here probably in the next two months and I'll probably use this, uh, this rifle for that video. But essentially what I want to do, and again, drop a comment below, let me know if you think it's a good idea, but I want to do a video where I'm comparing that ammo that snipers were using back in Vietnam compared to uh, the ammo that we have now, the match grade ammo with all the new technology, with all of these things that ballisticians over Burger, like Brian Litz and some other people, with all the technology and, and all of the um, information that we now have available, are the bullets better? So extreme spread, looking at standard deviation, and of course going to see what type of uh, groups I can print down range using that 308 that is substantially older than I am uh, compared to the stuff that's available today. So drop a comment, let me know if you think that'd be a good video. Uh, could be that by the time you're watching this one it's already live, so be sure to check my channel, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Appreciate it.